everyone. Welcome to another Music Talk Tuesday. And today I thought it would be interesting to discuss something that's a little bit more general to music, but is also, I think, very uh, influential and very, um, very interesting. Um, and uh, that is the radio. Um, the interesting thing about radio is that, again, even though it was sort of like the first sort of television in a sense because it was really the first sort of streaming of information to an audience. Um, it also was a way of showcasing sound. Music is primarily influenced through sound. Uh, it only makes sense that um, the radio would sort of become that big outlet for music to be uh, showcased. Now, initially, we see radio just being brought about within the home, um, and it's not until within around the time of when cars are ultimately developed do we see the radio being implemented as part of the car, um, where people can listen to music within the car, so to speak. Um, and uh, also, radio has had a very huge influence as far as... Um, uh, as far as advertising is concerned and uh, marketing, um, especially when uh, you can sort of, again, market artists through offering tickets. Um, you know, you always hear on the radio, you know, call, and if you're this and this number, you'll get tickets to so-and-so. Um, and uh, it's also been a large driving factor for just, again, at more advertising in a general sense, like, um, you know, uh, buy this in this car, go consider getting this in this product, so-and-so offers blah, 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 you know, um, it's a way of getting your sort of brand within people's minds while at the same time making profit through, uh, through showcasing, uh, music because people stick around obviously for the music and not necessarily the commercials so um yeah and i think there's probably sometimes within radio where you know sometimes they'll just talk and what i don't understand is is if if you're a music channel why are you con i understand maybe a little bit of talk here and there but when you're having a whole conversation I mean, it should just be your own show. I mean, it shouldn't be, um, if you want to showcase the music, showcase the music. If you want to showcase a show, showcase a podcast, you know, or something. Like, why do you need to combine the two? Um, and hence, the you know, your audience doesn't get really what it wants, which is the music. And so I, I find that kind of annoying um, when they people feel the necessity to talk about things um, when their audience members really don't care, they just want to hear music. Um, so yeah, I think that's just something that's, uh, that I've noticed about radio that sometimes they just don't know how to, um, h how to, uh, handle the, the audience in which they're trying to, um, um, uh, trying to sort of entertain, um, I feel like showing again. Sometimes radios they do radio sh uh, programs. They'll do uh, you know, uh, or radio stations will just do um, little bits of comedy where you know comedians are saying something funny and you know promote comedians. I think that's totally fine. Um, but when they're just talking and it's just these random people and you know they're just talking about you know really useless information. Um, it, as me as a music listener, it, it annoys me to no end driving and hearing these people yammer about something. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you, but if you want to make a podcast, you know, make a podcast. I enjoy podcasts, but I mean, don't try to be both um, because, you know, when you expect something from a station, you expect to hear it and Again, usually sometimes the people that they get, you know, to talk about these things, I, I just go, I would rather be listening to music right now. 
um, than listening to these people. So I think that's just one thing that it, it's just an annoyance uh, on for me. Um, but uh, the radio again might be losing its influence to sort of another form in which radio is kind of being um, uh, being showcased, and that's the internet. Um, because now you can stream things. Uh, in particular, you can stream music a lot easier um, than we were able to do 50, 40 years ago. Um, you know, you'd have to buy a CD, record player, you know. And again, you'd have to buy the whole album, too. Um, but now you can pick and choose. And um, the interesting thing about... Um, uh, about uh, about radio is is just that even though streaming music has been a lot easier and streaming radio in particular is a lot easier, um, it, it still ha it still maintains that advertising sort of format. Uh, for example, Spotify is a perfect example. You can choose what you want to listen to when you want to listen to it, um, but at the same time. Um, you know, you have to, you know, pay attention to a commercial once in a while that'll come up um, or a couple commercials that'll play sort of similar to like how the radio is formatted. Um, but again, it's all for free. You're not you're not having to pay anything unless you pay a Spotify subscription where you don't have to listen to commercials, um, which I think is totally fair, um, to be honest. I mean, I, I think you know, listening to an advertisement, you know, doesn't, doesn't hinder the world to me, at least. <laughs> what hinders me more is the people yammering, um, instead of providing the content that they're supposed to be providing to the people. Um, yeah, so it, it, it just goes to show, um, it's, um, it, it's just one of those forms where I feel like it's, it's sort of just changing as far as, um, as far as uh, music's influence is concerned, um, because oftentimes, you know, radio shows are now trying to do a lot of the talk thing while at the same time having the music, and I think that puts a, a huge de detriment on the sort of enjoyment of the music. Um, also, two people can just, you know, plug in, you know, their phone through, uh, through Spotify and they can just listen in the car while they're going to work or wherever so they don't have to really listen to radio anymore yeah they'll still have to listen to the commercials but they don't have to they don't have to do it by the radio's terms you know because oftentimes I think what a lot of people notice through radio especially when it comes through music they repeat a lot of the songs like they repeat them um, they don't offer a good variety. Um, they they pick and choose sort of their favorite ones and they kind of stick with them. And I've literally had this happen to me on multiple occasions. I will be listening to a station, I'll change the station, and they're playing the exact same song. Um, exact same. Uh, and it's... And not only that, sometimes, you know, you'll flip through channels and there's nothing but commercials going on too. So I think a lot of radio stations are in on that so that you have to sort of pick and choose and listen to the commercials. Whereas with something like Spotify, you just listen to the commercials and then you can go back to listening what you chose personally to listen to um, because you can make your own playlists and just go through that. So I think... Um, Again, I think there will be a part of radio that will be popular because I think a lot of people like the idea of a spokesperson, you know, sort of like going up and just saying something real quick or, um, or you know, maybe talking to some of the people that call in or whatnot. Um, but even then, um, I, I still feel like the, the constant needs to yammer and have a whole half an hour where you're just talking um and instead of you know just playing the music 
um, I think is, is one that's, that I think has annoyed a lot of people, and I can understand why a lot of people would rather want to stream their music uh, instead of listening to radio. So, again, there's this kind of... Um, that there's this kind of, uh, you know, traditional way of approaching the way music is distributed, largely primarily through radio. And again, I think radio is still one of the more popular things that gets your song sort of, you know, out there in the open and everybody hears it. Um, you know, as opposed to Spotify, where it's more based upon... Um, you know, a, a word of uh, uh, just a word of mouth among your among your peers. Um, but I, I personally think that's that's actually a little bit more fair when it comes to music because um, you're having people sort of judge the music. You're not having the radio station judge the music for you um, and say, "Yeah, this is what we're gonna play." You're gonna listen to it, or are you going to change the channel? And uh, I think that's really what's going to be a, a big driving force, because people want to have options. And uh, I think radio had has had a way of limiting people's options. Yeah, you can call in and ask for a song to be played, but what are the chances of them taking your call? And, you know, what are your chances of winning, you know, the sweepstakes that they always put out there? You know, and is it really worth to listen to this person for so and so such amount of time? Um, yeah, I just think it's just one of those things where, um, you know, uh, if you want to be a podcast, be a podcast, and people will go and download your podcast and watch it and whatnot. You know, you can even advertise it probably on Spotify, you know, say, here, I have a podcast, check out my website or something if you like blah 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 you know um but again that's why i feel like um with streaming there's a lot more choices than radio radio is still fun and um i get a lot of satisfaction when i do hear a song that i actually really do like and i get really pumped and excited when i listen to it um you know but at the same time, you know, it, it's, it's, I can almost get the same satisfaction from just, you know, just creating a playlist and then just putting in sort of on autoplay and then just having it play whatever it wants to, to ultimately play. Because at the end of the day, I know they're going to play a song that I like because it's a playlist that I made. So, again, I think it just, just shows you the interesting ways in which music is changing. I think it's becoming a lot more about the people's opinion and a lot more about, um, a lot about more creating an individual set of songs to listen to as opposed to having some outside force kind of distribute it to you. Um, I mean, I think audios, or excuse me, radio will, will still be prominent Especially if there's still cars on the road, I mean, there'll still be radio. Um, I just think the way it's formatted is probably going to change significantly. And, you know, people would just rather, you know, just use their phone um, and have that sort of be their radio as opposed to a radio station. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's people who like sweepstakes and, you know, things like that. But uh, even Spotify could just advertise those, you know, and say, be the so-and-so caller or whatnot, and, you know, you can, um, you know, you'll get, you'll have a chance to, to win, or um, if you want to listen to these people talk about whatever, you know, um, check out what they have to say. So I, I think that's just... That's just the way I see things going um, as far as just technology is concerned. I think once music becomes more accessible, the less of a need to have an outside person, you know, um, coming in and, you know, giving you the music. Um, so, yeah, I think that's just kind of how I envision sort of the future um, 
when it comes to to music distribution. I think it primarily starts through radio, and now I think with streaming, we're just going to get a new format, and that format is going to be, um, again, websites like Spotify, Pandora, you know, places where you can have more options. But I think that's really ultimately all I can say when it comes to the radio. Um, it, it, it was a really interesting uh, invention when it came about, and it's nice to see how it has evolved over the years. But I think its influence as far as to how it's, um, and as to how much power it has over over the the consumer, I think is going to be uh, drastically limited once we have more choices um, and once we're given more choices as to what we want to listen to. And uh, I think those things that probably annoy a lot of people about radio um, are going to be, again, less annoying through other means. So, like, again, Spotify, Pandora, etc. But yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.